Hey guys, Davis here from Blue Water Photo. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and the Nauticam housing. I got the chance to take it out to the Channel Islands the other day and shoot with it a little bit underwater. And I have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, it was a really fun housing to shoot with and a, a fun camera to shoot with. I got a, a lot of good content. So I'm just gonna walk you through some of the things I thought about it. So first, the thing I noticed was that, you know, you really do have pretty much full control over the camera with, with the buttons. Even though the camera is controlled largely from the touch screen, um, Nauticam did a really good job of making sure that all of the necessary controls for video were accessible through the, through the buttons rather than the touch screen. So you have full control for white balance, frame rate, uh, shutter angle, pretty much everything. Things I really liked was the five inch touch screen here. Now, obviously you couldn't use it as a touch screen, but because it was such a large monitor, um, you didn't, I didn't feel the need to have an external monitor here. Uh, we also took out the, the GH5 with the small HD and that whole system was almost two times as large as, as just this one Blackmagic with the equivalent five inch screen. So that was really nice. I, I liked that a lot. And one other thing I tested with this housing was the autofocus. So you do have your autofocus lever back here. Uh, it worked pretty well actually. It, you know, it, it, it did what it, what it needs to do. But one thing to point out is that it, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera only has single point autofocus. It does not have continuous autofocus, so if those subjects are moving closer and farther away from the frame, you're definitely going to want to invest in manual focus gear so that you have full control over the focus and your focus won't be jumping back and forth. Let's see. Some other things to point out about this camera is that Nauticam also supplies you with this battery pack, which is awesome, and it installs right into the bottom of the housing here and I would definitely recommend getting batteries for this because you know you're shooting 4k 60 frames per second with this camera it takes a lot of a lot of energy so with these battery packs I did three solid dives without without the camera die without the camera dying and it really helped you know lengthen that battery length and, and how long I could shoot underwater one other thing that's really nice is that Autocam also installed a, a port on the inside of the housing to allow you to use an SSD drive, which is going to be, which, which was huge, especially if you're shooting 4K RAW, um, which is a, an awesome feature of the Blackmagic. Those files are pretty big, and even the ProRes files are pretty big as well. So get, you know, a, a, a nice SSD or a CFast card as well. Maybe use both and, and switch between them when one of them fills up. But all in all, I really had a, a lot of fun shooting with this housing. We are we, we do have a, a bigger review video coming out comparing the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera with the GH5S and the Red Gemini. We did some, some low light tests on the surface and then took them all underwater as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera or the Nauticam housing, please reach out to us. We have both of them available for rental or purchase. So you can email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com or give us a call at 310-633-5052. Thanks.